Our technology is known as bleeding materials. The team is really excited about this. It is composed of water beads, which is commonly used with, for kids playing and for a hydrating agent in plants. They're very inexpensive. Uh, we use this as a substrate for an oxygen sensitive molecule that turns into what essentially a freckle is, melanin, and to yield a tamper indicating visibly obvious response. Everything colorful turns to black, and so anybody inspecting such materials will easily know that they've been tampered with and the goal is to protect high value security assets. What is really remarkable about this technology um, is that upon tamper, uh, so penetration into this enclosure um, or any damage, these beads turn from multicolored into black and that's an irreversible response. Um, there's also intrinsic counterfeit properties in this such that if someone were to replace this entire enclosure um, or if it's tampered with and these beads are disturbed, we would notice. Tamper indicating enclosures are needed in treaty verification regimes uh, so that we can detect if an enclosure has been tampered with. Um, there are generally three approaches to doing this. Um, one of them is electronic, and in that case, um, there's um, uh, limitations in where these can be deployed because of the electronics. There's also battery maintenance issues. A uh, second approach used uh, in treaty verification is bringing in external instruments by the inspector. Uh, that means they have to carry more. That also means um, that they have to be trained on that equipment. And the most commonly used is really a visual inspection. And so an inspector will come into a facility and look at the surface and maybe look for subtle color changes, uh, maybe just a different shade of blue. Um, so it's subjective and it's also really time consuming. Um, and so what we have done is a very uh, conclusive tamper indication. So on uh, this one, we can see that it's not been tampered here an inspector could very rapidly conclude that this um, had been tampered with, and so we're also hoping to save quite a bit of time. Though the initial application for this technology was for treaty verification, the team is excited to explore many other scenarios where the protection of high-value assets is of need. Uh, we think there's potential in other industries, uh, some of those including pharmaceuticals, um, supply chain industries, uh, containers or vials for drug testing, um, other high value assets like art or diamonds. Uh, and finally, really any government um, applications that require tamper indication for high value assets. So we're really excited about this technology as it enables inspectors to rapidly locate potential tamper and it's conclusive. Uh, furthermore, there's also uh, these unique intrinsic patterns that make it anti-counterfeit. Um, and also we'll mention that um, the materials that we use to create these enclosures are commercial, ubiquitous, and inexpensive, and we're really excited to see where this technology goes.